The Mount Carmel Blessed Sacrament Church is hosting its annual festival this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. One of the biggest fundraisers, and most of the proceeds go to the church schools. News Channel 2's Kurt Tupai tells us what goes into putting on a big festival like this one. Hundreds of people are expected to show up for the Mount Carmel Blessed Sacrament Parish Festival, but putting on an event like this requires a lot of work. Beautiful. It's an enormous task. It takes us six days. We have to hook up the gas, electric, and water to this food trailer right here. We have to meet the requirements of the Nida County Department of Health. And we haven't begun to scratch the surface. We have to set up the tents, put the electrical lighting inside, get all the tables and chairs in. There's also landscaping work and, of course, food to cook. We're cooking the sausage and meatballs for the sausage tunnels, meatball tunnels. We got pasta bazool, we got mushroom stew. We got uh, hamburgers, hot dogs, steaks. That food has to be kept in a refrigerated truck until it's time to heat up. But first, the cooking pans need to be cleaned. And don't forget to take out the garbage before moving on to the next tasks. Every step counts. The setting up, the tents, the chairs, the tables, the electrical, the gas supply, the cookers. The tents go up, then the electrical goes in, the lights go in, the tables and chairs go in. Signs and other things, fencing and, uh, and um, countertops and everything like that. And I'm doing a little work myself, uh, wiring cash registers and uh, uh, different areas where ca four cash registers got to be wired and lighting. We're doing lighting and, and f hooking up food warmers uh, with uh, a lot of miles of extension cords. The majority of the work is all done by volunteers, and if there's not enough volunteers, there's no way the festival could happen. We almost came close to this year saying, well, it might be the last year. Tough to get volunteers, the weather, and we said we can't do that. It's an East Utica tradition. The festival will be going on this Friday and Saturday from 5 to 10 and Sunday, noon to 3. In Utica, I'm Kirk Tupai reporting for News Channel 2.